Okay, ladies, so I know you guys know fall is around the corner. I think it's about two weeks away. I've got the perfect wig for you guys if you want to keep the curly vibe, which makes it simple and easy for every day to just spray it down with a little water or a little bit of mousse. But you also want the warm fall vibes. This one here is perfect. So for the correct specs, this one is a 13 by 4 piano brown lace front wig the texture is jerry curly and you'll see in the video how i got the curls super popping with my diffuser hairline is also absolutely gorgeous i'm gonna jump right into the install be sure to check out this one in the description box and without further ado let's get right into the install okay babies i know that we love a good top knot bun i'm gonna be showing you today how to achieve one at the end of the video especially without a 360 lace wig so stay tuned for that at the end Jumping right into the beginning, this is the star of the show. She is a 13 by 4 Jerry Curly lace front wig. This is a piano brown highlight and it's 150% density. I'll have all the specs as well as a direct link in the description box. But here I am showing you what she looks like on. This one has such a good lace that you have to pull your wig cap back or you can opt for the ball cap method to conceal your wig cap. For me, you know, I'm going to keep it simple and easy. So I just pulled mine back. Now I'm going to pull mine back and we're going to start working on the install process. For this one, I didn't see a need to pre-pluck here. So I just went ahead and began the process of just cutting off the excess lace. Any customizations you would like to do, I highly recommend you do them before your install. This is just going to make it simple and easy to do. And you kind of get a more flawless result if you do it that way than, you know, waiting until it's bonded down. Here I will show you that the wig does fit and sit on my head nice and snug. But I am also going to cut off the ear tabs. Those ear tabs are typically what would need to be like bonded down. And without that, I won't have to do that. So this is going to just make it simple and easy for me to throw this one on throughout the week. Today, I am going to use a non-glue adhesive. But before we get to that step, I am doing the Dynamic Duo. This here is the wax stick paired with the electric hot comb. I'm going in very generously with that wax. And I'm also going in with a really high heat setting. This hot comb does go up to 500 degrees. And I do push it to the max. I want to warn you guys, if you are afraid of heat, always use this or do this step on a wig head before you put the wig on your head. You can get a flawless result, very much the exact same, maybe even better without the risk of burning yourself. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull out what I consider baby hair. We're going to do the two swoops, one each above like arch of the eyebrow. And that's kind of how I gauge. I kind of gauge it from the center of the eyebrow. These I did go in and make them a little bit more big or like large than normal. But you're going to see at the end and I'm pretty sure you see in the beginning. They came out really, really cute. So I'm definitely happy about that. As I mentioned, we are going in with a non-glue adhesive. This one comes from Bedhead and I find it at Target. I'll put a link in the description box for you guys if you're interested. And I just apply that generously. Today I applied it on top, but typically I would put it like under the lace and put the lace on top if that makes any sense. I blow dried on a cool setting and now I'm using a edge control, applying it main, mainly at the base of the lace um, and where the baby hair starts. And then using that edge brush to really smooth those baby hairs out. You want them to be super straight and smooth and kind of do a perfect curve. And that's how you get really good baby hair. Today, I also brought out an Odie But Goody. This is the Too Faced Concealer. Um, this one is closer to my actual shade. Um, and I use that as the lace tint for the parting. Um, and then I use a foundation powder along the hairline. Now this came out really good and it's always even a step better if you put your melt belt on top of this and allow it to set. Here I am just going in with a little H2O. We are going to be using our mousse today, but sometimes I do like to put water before the mousse. This prevents you from overusing your mousse, although I am also still generous with the mousse. This one here is a Maui Moisture Mousse, also a Target Babe. Um, and I, again, apply it very generously to 
one half of the hair work it in i always like to detangle my hair before i dim and brush it as i did mention this is a jerry curly texture so keep in mind the texture of this is completely different than like curly hair i feel like it has the same vibe as curly hair but it's just a little bit more loose if that makes any sense and i love the way this came out i also used a i think this was a garnier product as well it's like a cream and typically i do prefer to add a little bit of a cream to my curlier wigs this will help to weigh the hair down and give it more of a defined look and i'm here adding the demon brush as my final step with the ends you guys know that this is my best way to clump the curls and then from here i just went ahead and diffused diffusing for me has been like one of my favorite things i don't know why i haven't been doing this for the whole time i've been wearing extensions it literally is like it's not the same as air drying to me it gives such a height and volume and i don't know it just gives such a good luscious look to my curls and this is what the hair looks like as the final result i'm absolutely in love and pleased with my results the color is absolutely beautiful but as promised in the beginning i'm going to show you how i put my wigs into a bun being a mom and working from home typically my wigs almost always go into a bun and i don't wait on or depend on a 360 lace wig to get me the look here i am just pulling the hair all the way to the top of my head now it does take time and patience sometimes you can definitely work and mold your wig up top with um doing it on a wig head but i'm just showing you how i do it myself be sure to pull the back of the wig down and use those combs in the back to really cover your nape and then use little baby hairs around to kind of like act as your like um camouflage if you will but this is the look i hope you guys enjoyed it direct link in the description box don't forget to check that out and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches <laughs> 